On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Definitely way low. What the hell is that? That's crazy. The difference the stock hole and that. And then this one. That's the same size hole when it comes with it, but I think it's gonna have to go like this. Yeah, it may have to go back. I'm pretty it. sure. Yeah. Although you can mount this carburetor that way, it puts the intake for the air filter very close to the front wheel, which isn't good. A few moments later. It says 61, but... You want that piece? That sucks. Thank you. I swear, but he kept running right into it. They're a pain. I know. Well, the insurance company knows. Thank you so much. Yeah, good luck. Oh, that sucks. On a flat 57. It's not exactly perfect. Still bogs a little bit. Since that plug is like super lean, draining the bowl out, I had to groove out that because it wasn't the right angle. And you'll see in the video, I got it up to 57 miles an hour on a flat, and I started at about 54, so it was an actual pull. I'm pretty impressed with that, but it's very lean, so I'm going to try to go up a size. The uh, nice thing about having this here is I can get right to it. Let's see, what do we have on this? 95? Man, that seems big for this, doesn't it? Well, we'll see. I'll find the 98. Uh, I know which one that is. The silver one right here. Oh, it's an 86. No, it's not. It's a 98. Let's put that baby in there. Alright, she's in there. Let's get the bowl back on it. Take it for another test drive. No, <laughs> sorry. Still a little bit of a bog. I'm a trained professional, don't try this at home. Oh my god, what the hell did that? That's disgusting. What the hell is that? Look at the size of that thing. I got a 13 shoe. Holy <laughs> cow. Or bear. That's eh, cray cray. Maybe I gotta lift the needle up one. I think I do. Before you complain, there's nobody here. I'm not hurting nothing. 57, baby. That's how that's done. Don't forget, this goes three quarter to full throttle. The emulsifier needle or the needle jet. Raising that up. There. So raising that up has an effect on the main jet. Mm. 
Make sure that doesn't move up and down. I've had bikes where you put that little keeper on there and this moves up and down and it's inconsistent where you're driving. You can never get it tuned in right. And then I'm like, what? That needle's moving. Make sure you got the long groove to the pin and that little angled piece for the idle. Try her again. Four going out. Thanks, guys. And congrats to the winner. First comment. Definitely more snappy. I can almost yank second. Almost. I could probably bounce it up. Oh, this would be a crappy place to have someone go off the road on you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Closer than that. It's three miles an hour off. Ordered a nibby carb. Yep, 26 millimeter. And I have an intake that is adjustable. You can swing it. It's got three different positions. Because this has a starter on the top. Going to meet V. He rebuilt one of his scooters. Last time he drove it over, he overheated it on the way home. Well, if that dash is going to work. I don't need this anymore. Flashback. God, this thing's got such a small tank. Someone asked if I could put a bigger tank. I wish. If somebody's done it, let me know because look at that. One gallon. <laughs> That's the weirdest freaking thing how that was not working. I don't care about the speedometer. I need a gas gauge on this thing. A few moments later. This is not gonna set it off. Jump! Woo! Oh, got some air! I like this little button on the front for a flasher. He's got a Honda liquid cooled 150 scooter. Elite. That thing should smoke this thing. I bet you it will. Headlight's not too bad, but I think I'm definitely gonna put a LED in it. Low beam's like a smiley face. This carburetor, even with the stock intake, definitely gave it some more oomph. I'll have a link for it. But I think that nibby's gonna do the trick. I don't remember what I got for jetty. I think I have a hundred in here. That's him. That's me. He kept going. Come on, V, where are you going? Woo, this guy's going. <laughs> He's almost off the road. Get it, Subaru, get it. Don't let this Hellcat get you. Alright, I gotta go for it, or else I'm never gonna catch him. They're gonna be laughing. We're getting them. <laughs> we got him, Hellcat! Didn't you see me on the top of the mountain? I saw it. I saw it. The next day. My dash suddenly, miraculously, started working last night. Got a few key tags going out. We'll drop them at the post office. One thing for certain is this one gallon fuel tank kind of stinks. So I think I'm going to get a little Gatorade bottle and keep this little bag I put on the back. Keep a little reserve. So I've been looking around for big bore kits. 
all different kinds of stuff. It's hard to find a big bore kit that actually specifically says it'll work on these little pit bikes, you know. The only one I've seen is the Honda, the Grom big bore kits, and I'm not 100% that that would work. And I was looking at Piranha 160cc electric start whole engines. Everybody sold out. And as I was saying last night, which I don't know if I'm going to use the video because it's dark, I did order a Nibby carburetor. I have a 24 millimeter right now. Look at that thing. 24 millimeter made a quite a bit of difference with the stock intake manifold. The intake manifold that comes with the Makuni aftermarket has the right 24 millimeter hole going through it but it doesn't angle the right way because it is starter if everything works out as usual i'll have all the links in the description below and on motorcheese.com more going out the raptor let's go whitey take the shortcut that is probably frowned upon get some air ready oh yeah jump the entire track just realize if you get one of these things you're gonna be slow on the hills if you get a little bit of headwind, <laughs> it'll slow you down. Or maybe if you're as wide as me. You're probably going to be running it wide open everywhere you go. Unless you're doing like 40, 45. Which stock, that'll be wide open everywhere you go. <laughs> but I love the exploring. You guys know that, so. You don't have to be fast to be fun. <laughs> That's downhill. Probably about 10 grand revved out. I better slow down. I'm going to get used to going that fast on this thing. So yeah, if any of you guys have any good connections on big board kits that you know will work for this, let me know. Someone did a burnout. Supplies! That front tire's low. Definitely way low. That's 21 pounds. There's no 21 pounds in there. Oh, where are you gonna do it? I don't know. Come on. You're out. How's that? Okay. It's pretty low. Alright. I mean, I got a half a tank. I just filled up last night. <laughs> Oh, that's a pile of wood there. Wow. Oh, look at that big turkey. Gobble, gobble. Hey, Mr. Turkey. Oh, there's a few of them. 192.6 miles. Wonder what's wrong with this dash. Whitey's running good. Knee dragger here. V. That's a 150, 150 Honda. Ooh, that guy was smoking some skunk weed. Club getaway. Oh well.
This carb made it a lot better, didn't it? Yeah, what are you running on? Which one? The one you gave me, but with the old intake. What did you do for the jetting now? I went up on the jetting, and I put my old intake on. It don't have the big intake, so it still held back a little. I ordered one that's adjustable. And a nibby carb, so I can give you yours back. Bike life built. Rage. Who remembers that game? <laughs> Freaking rain. Oh, <laughs> you see that? Two wheeled front. The spring? Yeah, I don't know who did that. That's where Blade got his water too. Yeah, where's the fuck you now? Where you guys going? He's, I think he said he's gonna head home because yeah. it's starting to rain. Yeah, I would too. Alright man. off whitey you freaked me out man hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'd love to hear what you have to say hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos links for products to use are in the description and on motoshees.com thanks for watching hey whoops <laughs> he's almost lost it <laughs> gotta pick my feet up